What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So can we all agree that Crypto.com really messed up with doing everything they're doing with the EARN program right now? I feel like with everything that's going on and all the people that are looking for places to put their money, yes, it's great to be able to still have percentages, but I feel like it's pulling them out of being competitive. And we'll get into exactly what I'm talking about. But before we get started, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. And make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel quite a bit. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, feel free to follow me on Twitter at Perry8K uh, is my Twitter handle. Also, if you guys want to join the 24-7 live streams that we have going on for Shiba Inu, feel free to be a part of that over on the Let It Burn channel. The link will be in the description. I'll also try and include it in the cards, but it's somewhere around here. Just uh, search Let It Burn and you'll be able to get to this channel, which has about 10,000, uh, 10 and a half thousand subscribers. So I appreciate everybody that has subscribed. We've gained 19 new members, um, you know, with this um, <clears throat> with this 24 seven live stream. We've been live for two days, two days and five hours. So, again, it's great. Let me go ahead and play another ad. So what we're here to talk about is Crypto.com. Right. When you go into crypto.com, it's so it's so great to see that they have 14.5 earn up to 14.5 percent on your crypto. Uh, well, now it's going to change. Right. Earn up to, you know, 14 percent or, you know, 12 percent on your crypto. But only up to a certain amount that you end up staking. Right. It's not going to look as great right yes you can earn up to a certain percentage but it's only up to a certain amount which better be in in bold letters it better be in like all caps somewhere on this screen when they update this and say earn up to 12 percent or 12.5 percent on your crypto you know you're you better have something here that tells me that it's only up to a certain amount <clears throat> because it, it just has to be. But if you look at the, the website, right, you go into all this, right, it, it clearly highlights you can earn 14% on USDC, 8.5% on Ethereum, 8.5% on Bitcoin, all these things to where you can gain so much out of it. But I feel like um, them changing things, what they're doing right now is just, they should have waited to do this. They should have waited to announce this um, maybe, you know, a couple of months from now when you hit the half a year mark. I think they should have waited to announce that or uh, announce it somewhere in May. And then when you get to the next month and the half a year mark, then you can make those changes. Maybe they couldn't. It wasn't sustainable. I knew it was a lot. But I know that there are people that are taking advantage of it by putting, you know, two million dollars in there and treating it, treating it as if it's a uh, an index fund but gaining a higher percentage for something that's going to be stable, right? You putting $2 million in there and gaining, um, you know, 200 and what, $80,000 per year. Um, um, when you, when you have that. So like if we go here and we wanted to stake for three months and we staked $2 million, right? You would have, uh, you can only stake up to $1 million. I think if you have like the black card, you were able to stake uh, two million dollars but <clears throat> let's say you can only stake one million dollars it changed it uh let's see if we change it if it changes it back yeah it changes it right back so one hundred forty thousand, you would have two hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year if you were able to stake two million dollars which was the top tier card that you would have so people were taking advantage of it by gaining two hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year um, just by you know staking usdc that doesn't change in value but they're able to use those coins in different areas so <clears throat> with them taking advantage of this and putting so much money into USDC, it devalues USDC. It's sort of like if everybody came on here and started creating finance videos, then it would devalue the ads that go or the um, the amount that people get paid um, because ads will less likely want to go on those because you know they're not getting as many views per video so you know it's not going to be a million views you know it's not going to be a hundred thousand views or fully engaged videos or anything like that so um the point is is that uh, with all the people getting into it at such high rates it devalues it so the people that are taking advantage of it usually are the ones that destroy it uh people that max it out as much as you possibly can because they have the money to do so the people that don't need to do this do it right the people that have a hundred million dollars and they're able to put it into an index fund and gain a hundred thousand dollars they decide that they want forty thousand more dollars so they're going to put that million dollars over here and gain forty thousand extra dollars but 
you know, that's really not what we want. We don't want you to take advantage of this. If you have a lot of money, you should, I'm not saying you have to settle for less money, but you shouldn't be taking advantage of a, a situation. That's like if Jeff Bezos wanted to basically take every single million that he had and take advantage of this and put it into separate wallets to where you can put it in there and gain $140,000 a year on all of those separate wallets. That would be stupid. That would be dumb that they can do something like that. However, they can, right? A person that has that much money can go into a crypto market, a crypto space and earn that much on just investing, you know, $1 billion into separate uh, wallets to gain $140,000 a year. That's the reason why they're doing it. So it's the, it's kind of the wealthy people that mess it all up for normal people. And I think they do this on purpose, right? They mess it up for normal people so that you know, uh, people that don't have as much money can't find a way to make more money in a quick and easy way. Because if they take advantage of this, right, or if this is out there, um, then we as normal people can do it, not working nine to five, we can gain $140,000 a year if you have a million dollars, take it out of whatever fund you have, put it in there, and you can gain so much. But if they take advantage of it, they know that the rates are going to be dialed back. And that means that banks are now more relevant. So that's the whole reason why I think they're doing it. I know this is going off on a tangent, but that's the whole reason why I think that they're doing it. But you see all of these rates. They're just amazing rates as you go down the list. If you stake $40,000 or more, you're getting 5%. You're getting you know 14.5%. You're getting 6.5%. You're getting 8.5% for um, you know Ethereum and Bitcoin and Tether, 14%. Well, now none of that is the same, right? So if we look into uh, the, the difference, right? Basically, you have full rates for anything that's over thirty thousand uh, dollars for allocated to fixed terms, and then you have uh, anything that exceeds uh, thirty thousand dollars will be at a rate of 0.5 of whatever that normal rate is. So, say it's twelve percent, it'll be at six percent, which ends up not making it competitive rates. Even if you know you see uh, you know Bitcoin at eight point five percent right? Half of that, you're looking at 4.25%, which is not really competitive, you know, when you have other places that are, you can stake it for just as much, right? Why 30,000? I don't know. Maybe they should have capped it out at a, a higher point to keep the, the extra wealthy or super wealthy people out of it. But I don't know. This is all speculation, but all these changes are supposed to happen in April, April 4th, 2022. And that's coming up really, really soon. <clears throat> and I have not even gotten a chance to stake 40,000. So with that being said, trying to stake 40,000, is that even necessary? Staking 40,000 will not even change a damn thing because the only thing that they're really worried about is the 4,000, anything above $4,000 will get a certain rate. Anything below $4,000 will get a certain rate. So if that is the case, these cards, these top two tier cards up here, the Obsidian card and the Icy White and Rose Gold, those are irrelevant, right? You can look at the rewards. Yes, you can gain 8% and 5%, which I don't know how long that'll last, but these are really irrelevant. You're not getting the, the massive staking rewards that these cards give you. So why even go out and get them? You know, you're getting, uh, you know, it's not really affecting what you're staking for CRO, but it is affecting what you're staking everywhere else. If you're looking for all of the other benefits that you can get, you're not getting those benefits. So it's kind of sad. It's kind of sour as I look into it. Um, but, you know, it still offers benefits and I'm still going to go through crypto.com to see how everything shakes up because I still don't know, um, you know, the full detail behind it, even though they gave a kind of um, an introduction to that or some sort of uh, paragraph or, you know, uh, message to people about it. It still doesn't tell you absolutely everything. It gives you something in writing, but it doesn't give you um, a clear picture on where we're going with this. So um, I think with the reduced rates in a lot of places and also having the um, allocation for anything that exceeds 30,000 um, being cut by half, it's just not something that I'm looking forward to because I was looking forward to, uh, you know, having 14% APY on USDC, but that's not the case. Uh, I was looking to staking, you know, thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars in there and gaining those rewards back. But now it's pushing me back towards index funds, which I don't want to do because that's what they want you to do is push towards index funds. We know that banks don't want us to stake with crypto 
because we're gaining more. And if banks take advantage of it, people with money take advantage of this system, they're going to gain so much and then they're going to just, uh, you know, kind of X the whole program, which sucks. They're going to find a way to do that and they need to basically take people out of it that hold a certain amount. And I don't know how they do that because no matter what the max amount is, these rich people are going to try and find uh, a way to uh, get 7,000 wallets at those rates, right? I don't know. It's it's just it just bothers the hell out of me. But make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think about crypto.com. I'm still uh, invested in it. I still want to keep staking with it because it's a great way to stake a lot of coins. Um, however, I hate the fact that they changed these right now. They should have changed them, you know, later on. But uh, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Remember, guys, go over to uh, my Let It Burn channel and uh, watch the 24-hour, 24-7 live stream, uh, as well as just subscribing and becoming a member. If you become a member, it contributes towards the burn, and we're looking to burn as much Shiba Inu as possible. We have a burn coming up on the 22nd that should be really good. But uh, again, hit the like button, follow me on Twitter at Perry8K, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.